In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Tonight we are doing a tenebrae service. The seven lights before you represent the light of Christ in the world. As he goes out to the seven churches in Revelation, so we look to the seven lights as his word, his life coming to the world. But on Good Friday, things came down to the one light, to the light of Jesus upon the cross. And there he died for our sins. At the end of the service, One light will remain, and that one light will will leave, representing Jesus going into the tomb. There will be a large slamming, representing the close of the tomb's door. But hope hasn't gone. The story continues, and the light returns. And so at the end of the service, his light will return, because Christ never left us, and he never will. And out of that death came life and hope. We begin our service with confession. It is for our sins that Jesus died on the cross. The blood he shed should have been my blood, and his suffering should have been my suffering. Eternal judge, forgive my sins for Jesus' sake. Jesus paid the price for all sins, for all time. On the cross he earned our salvation, Tonight I give you his gift. Your sins are forgiven. Amen. We sing together hymn 451, Stricken, Smitten, and Afflicted, page 451, verses 1 and 3. Stricken, smitten, and afflicted, see him dying on the tree. Tis the Christ by man rejected, yes, my soul, tis he, tis he. Tis the long-expected prophet, David's son, yet David's Lord. Proofs I see sufficient of it. Tis the true and faithful word. Ye who think of sin but lightly, nor suppose the evil great. Here may view it nature rightly, here its guilt may estimate. Mark the sacrifice appointed, see who bears the awful load. Tis the word the Lord's anointed, Son of man and Son of God. We say together the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead and ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy glory, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us. 
us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. We sing hymn 456, Were You There? Verses 1 and 2. Were you there when they crucified my Lord? Were you there when they crucified my Lord? Oh, oh, sometimes it causes me to tremble, tremble, tremble. Were you there when they crucified my Lord? Were you there when they nailed him to the tree? Were you there when they nailed him to the tree? Ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. Sometimes it causes me to tremble, tremble, tremble. Were you there when they nailed him to the tree? Luke 23, verse 34. Father, forgive them for they do not know what they are doing. Jesus, the innocent man, went to the cross and died. Certainly he did so because he was accused by the Sadducees and the Pharisees. He did so to protect Pilate's political future and to stop a riot in Jerusalem. But that really wasn't the cause of Jesus going to the cross. The real cause was our sins, that a price had to be paid, and the price was death. He died for you and me. And Pilate tried to put the blood of Jesus upon the heads of the Jews, but that blood is on the head of everyone who has sinned, everyone who has been sentenced by their actions to the punishment we deserve, eternal death eternal separation from the Father. That justice had to be paid, that was why Jesus died. That only death could pay for life was why Jesus died. To fulfill all the promises God had made with the sacrificial system, with what he set up at the temple, that is why Jesus died. He died so that our sins would be gone forever and so that we too might live forever. <laughs> 